morning, Steve. Hello. Good morning, Internet. Good morning. Hi. Steve is in the wall, I guess. Ceiling. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, we noticed, that some of you guys noticed, that we had these monstrosities the other day. Um, we're under the impression that they live in the ceiling somewhere. <laughs> so, we are now kind of rushing a little bit to get the ceiling at least sealed <laughs> so that we can not have it open when the wasps wake up and have them here. It has been a typhoon of rain today. It's been really awful. And we're gonna try and get some of this insulation behind me put in the ceiling today. Right, Steve? Well, in my typical ambitious fashion, as they probably heard in the other video, I'm like, maybe if we're really lucky, we'll have an insulated ceiling today. Yeah, I got the one wall done and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! I now have a part-time job instead of a full-time job, which is super awesome. Um, and I really like this new FC that I'm working at, DC FC. It's an FC. Um, it's bigger and it's more modern, I guess, uh, compared to the other one I worked at. And it's a, uh, it feels more like a, I guess what I would have expected from my employer, um, and less of like a rough and tumble place. Even though I like my rough and tumble place, there are some really interesting like marks on the walls. Where it looks like you guys tried to claw your way out of the ceiling. There's another one over here I just oh, saw. Most of those marks are actually not from the ceiling removal. No. From when I took the, uh, the oscillating tool. Because the fan that's in that throws the dust in a particular pattern. And that's what it calls it. They look like your oh, handprints. That, that one over there is a handprint. But like the ones that are up this by one? the ceiling. That also that, is that, a handprint. Hand too. The ones up by the ceiling, though, are from the tool. Okay. Like that one especially, the big dark one. Yeah. And it has to do with, like, you can see there's a striped pattern on the plaster. Here, take it. Um, yeah, you can see there's like a dark stripe and a light stripe. Uh -huh. And so when it hits the dark stripe, that's when it sprays that dust out. Can I come in? What about me? Are there any bats in there? Can I have some? I like bats. I like to torment bats. And birds. And bugs. And everything.
actually worked out almost perfect. Uh-huh. Dang, Steve. It's almost like you're a professional. Except I'm not. <laughs> the first full run is up. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah, just making sure that's stable actually fired. Let me get to do this, the lights yet, but we'll save that for last, just right. because they're cut weird. So we have to do those two holes over there next. Yeah. I'm good? And then we'll come back and do this one. Unless you'd like to do this one first, and then do those two. Uh, I have the ladder over here, so maybe this one next. Okay. Hand this off or down here or something. No, put it on the insulation, no! Try and let it puff up since one of our pieces just doesn't seem to want to puff. <gasps> All the rest of them are super puffy. That guy. I don't know what's up with that guy. Um, the lights are done. Did you want to talk about the lights and how we did those? Yeah, I actually used the same insulation that we used in the wall over there and just did two layers of it that are stacked on top of each other because it's about 15 inches wide and I needed five on one side and ten on the other, so we just cut it and split it. Stacked it double high and wedged them in there. They fit really good. They look really tiny whenever there's runaway insulation. Mm -hmm. like, they're much bigger looking whenever they're empty. Right, so we'll do the same thing over here, but we're gonna fill the wall first and just yep. get that done. You ready? Yep. 